This week's question comes from Jesse from Bishopville, South Carolina. Roger, our entire family loves watching your show. I'll make this short and sweet. Do you think that black bear affect deer movement? All right, thanks for that question, Jesse. That is really a good question. I'm sure they do, and why wouldn't they? I know for a fact that whitetails hate it when hogs come in on them, or coyotes or something like that. I'm certain that they're not going to like it any better if a big old black bear walks in on them. Now, I haven't had a chance myself to do a lot of whitetail hunting where whitetail and black bear areas overlap. But I have close friends in South Carolina. And for those of you that don't know, North and South Carolina have got a lot of black bear now, all right? I have close friends in South Carolina that have told me numerous times when they're deer hunting, if a black bear walks in, hunts over. They say the deer leaves and he's not gonna come back. Now what I really believe happens that the whitetail sense of smell is so acute that and it's something molecular, okay? But I think they're able to detect critters that are meat eaters, all right? And when they smell that smell, when they detect the odor, they, they know it's danger or possible danger. And they're not taking any chances. They're getting out of there, okay? I was hunting a little green field a number of years ago, about a half an acre. I was kind of tucked up into the timber. I was in a box blind on the ground, and there were about a dozen does out in front of me. And as the light started to fall, I'm, you know, I'm kind of hoping a buck will come in there and check one of those does. And boy, they started getting antsy, and I thought, man, all right, I think something's coming. And all of a sudden, the doe closest to me stomped her foot, whistled, and they run out of there like a cannon went off. And about two minutes later, a big old bobcat, a tom, walked out in the middle of that field. Man. I thought, holy cow, that's a 25-pound bobcat. Now, let's face it, a 25-pound bobcat is not going to be able to bring down a 140, 50-pound doe, all right? Didn't make any difference. They weren't taking any chances, and they left. Now, I know it was a 25-pound bobcat because his hide is hanging right over there on the wall, <laughs> all right? Now, I'm not suggesting to you that when something comes in like that, you shoot it, okay? But more times that, more times that I could count, I've had hogs and coyotes come in, and I stand up and wave at them, shush at them, try to get them out. You know, I've yelled at them. I mean, they've already boogered up the area. I want them to get out of there, and maybe I'll still, I probably did more damage than I did good. But, uh, but you handle that however you want. Uh, always follow the laws of the land, the state where you're hunting, or don't break any game laws. Handle it like you want. But I'm telling you, when hogs, and, and coyotes and bear and stuff like that come in on you. You're better off getting out, getting them out of there or just getting them leaving because the hunt is probably over for that day.